Oh, I'm just one of um, a handful of cameramen that have been working on surviving the cut. We're involved really with the water training right now, so we're just um, we're, we're trying to uh, cover it in a way where we stay completely out of the the PJ's way, that they're um, able to conduct their training mission uh, without any interfer interference from us, but also to get. Um, footage that we think would be exciting and, and would be interesting for, uh, for the general public. Yes, yeah, so myself and uh, Chris Uriarty jumped out and threw a litter out with us and swam over to the patients and hooked one up in a litter because she had back injuries or whatnot. So, you know, we want to take spinal precautions even though we're in the water. And uh, we hoisted her out with the litter and, or on the litter and then hoisted another out on the strop. Up here in Alaska, we're constantly holding, you know, holding alert. And it's not uncommon to end up with a, a water scenario rescue. I think that the people of Alaska have to, um, if they don't realize what a wonderful asset they have, um, they should really appreciate the fact that um, a phone call away, they have absolutely the highest trained, uh, most skilled rescue personnel on the, on the planet. I think it's good we're getting attention, uh, you know, and the helos and the crews there are, you know, should get equal attention. I mean, everybody does uh, the same amount of work and, yeah, it's good for Alaska, it's good for the PJs and, yeah, good for the guard all around.